Hello everybody, this is Sci-Fi Junk Kid again on this lovely one for Friday afternoon. And um, today I'll be doing a couple of videos, but I figured I'd try to do them before the lovely one for Zoom meeting that I'm going to be having with my fiance today from the nursing home that she's at. Anyway, um, as you guys very well know, in one form or another, I am not a, a political person at all. Until recently. Now I say recently because of the fact that our lovely, wonderful um, local government here has done some questionable things. And it started with uh, Mayor Jackson, his wife, and his buddy when they were actually in the city council and he was actually mayor. And then the lovely, wonderful vice mayor, which is actually the current mayor. Uh, started yelling at him. They had a back, back and forth, and then the mayor's wife, the mayor, and his buddy resigned and left us with like with two council people. And um, at least until I think it was June when the special election happened, and uh, the, the those three empty seats finally got filled. And then uh, the interim city manager at the time ended up being uh, voted in as manager or city manager. Uh, a move I do support, by the way, because she actually did a pretty good job. That doesn't necessarily mean that she made, you know, didn't make any mistakes or anything. She actually makes made mistakes too, just like any other other person. But the job that she was doing as city manager. Or in terms of the manager was a pretty good one. She was, you know, she was the only one that I actually had interactions with as a manager because I didn't have any problems until Mr. Jackson, his wife, and his buddy decided to be on city council, and they decided to do some questionable things all the way up until they tried to get rid of our police department and. Um, Crap hit the fan. Anyway, um, moving right along, the um, they actually make our city man our interim city manager city manager, and then at the end of I believe July, I believe it was. I'd have to go look back at stuff to be for sure, but I think it was at the end of July. There was an emergency meeting called. To accept the resignation of the city manager, even though she was only officially the city manager for roughly two or three weeks in. And that they actually voted her in, and now that they're voting to accept her resignation, which kind of uh, was kind of odd. So, uh, normally, normally I don't actually talk to any city officials whatsoever when it comes to them getting fired. Or try to be friends with city officials at all but this time I felt since it was rather odd that she was only city manager for three weeks that I would actually contact her she actually happens to have a Facebook account yeah kind of find out that um, there was no resignation they were trying to push her out and uh, eventually they succeeded unfortunately but uh, that they're pushing her out and they wouldn't let her know why or, or, or anything other than they wanted to get rid of her. Now mind you, that day they decided to go ahead and um, they decided to go ahead and um, table that decision until the next normal meeting. Uh, and then that emergency meeting, light, it, it, it come to light that, uh, that the resignation was supposedly received and then supposedly withdrawn, um, yeah, and, uh, there was one of the new, one of the new city, man, city council people, um, said that he didn't see any kind of resignation whatsoever. Which kind of draw the, uh, makes one wonder if there was actually truly a resignation or not at all. Um, the other four, and that includes our lovely one for all current 
mayor, uh, which in my opinion happens to be on a power trip right now, and probably will stay that way until she gets voted out. Um, you actually find some pretty interesting stuff about her, even with her uh, LinkedIn account and everything. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is that when one city council member says that there was, uh, to his knowledge, no resignation, and he didn't see one, and the other four aren't saying nothing at all, kind of makes you wonder about our government. Now, during the time of our lovely, wonderful Mayor Jackson, at the time that he was in office, um, you may kind of know that I actually, you know, myself, along with a couple other people, try to find ways to get rid of him and get him out of city council whatsoever. And um, so, and so, um, yeah, and that includes even uh, one of the, get away, and that even includes one of the um, new council members that we have now. Anyway, that happens to be, let me go ahead and flip it over. Now, I do apologize that I actually have to do it that way because, uh, well, my second monitor is actually being used to wipe a uh, current desktop, or a desktop that I'm working on. Anyway, this is our lovely, wonderful representative for this lovely district that I live in. That happens to be at the state level. Um, now, as you will see, you know, Capitol Hill address, uh, phone number, all this stuff is public. So you actually just go to this address and you'll find this all here. I'm not sharing anything that's not public. Um, you know, as you see the lovely one full committees on and hometown i'm not going to show like some of the stuff i like click on the link and show you it all because you can actually go to this website and do it yourself but um he actually came went to a, a lovely wonderful radio station that um or radio show uh internet radio show called tanya talks and he talked about how he was trying to get internet, broadband internet going for uh, people like me that actually live out in the middle of nowhere, like Wetumpka. Um, you know, like more reliable uh, internet. Now, as you can see, here's all the bills he uh, managed to do this year. Last year, Happens to be a story saying that he's going to try to do something about internet. Now, um, does this necessarily mean that he didn't try to do anything for the internet? No, not not necessarily uh, true, but it does kind of make you wonder because these are the bills he's authored. Now, I don't know how it work how it'll work if uh, if it was co-authored or anything. I don't know. If it would actually show anything like that here on this website, because normally I don't do uh, politics, as I said before, I'm just recently starting to get in politics, and well, I'm still got quite a bit to learn. But I find it kind of odd how you decided to recently. I actually, I'd have to say maybe a couple months ago decided to block me on Twitter. Now, mind you, I do believe that this is his own personal uh, Twitter, that he actually did a, what I would like to call a Trump maneuver, and uh, made a Twitter account. As you will say, see, it says Representative-Elect. So this is pretty close to when he got elected. Um, now, if you go right here, it says... Now, I think this is more like, you know, exact, uh, you know, sort of like what Wikipedia is, but it's for bonus and stuff like that, or uh, for Republicans and stuff like that. Now, if you can see here, it actually says from 2008 to present. And then he was elected in 2018, 
even though this is uh, 2019. So I kind of, as, as far as I understand it, it's sort of like the presidency where when you get elected during the election and then like January comes around and that's when you start actually taking, doing um, your stuff to relate it anyway. Um, so, well, it says he assumed office in 2018, but that's not what this says right here. So maybe there, maybe there's an error or something like that. But the problem is that I'm trying to make is that um, when you click on personal Twitter, it goes straight to that one that I'm blocked to. Kind of ironic, huh? Now, if uh, you happen to go here you actually see that his competitor happens to be Steven and I can't I'm not I'm not even gonna try to butcher that name. Uh, so he actually has now this is for uh the general election um I do believe on the third of November. Or like that. It was on the uh yeah, third of November. So he's got a, so he's got somebody that's competing for his seat right now in the general election. And let's get here. Now, this is where it gets interesting, in my opinion. It gets pretty interesting. Um, see this where it says, does First Amendment protect government officials from blocking members of the public on social media? And the word sometimes? Yeah. Now, if you guys remember, uh, President Trump actually started, was actually using both the presidential Twitter account and the his personal Twitter account to conduct uh, his presidential communications to the public in one form or another, and that uh, I believe it was the Supreme Court. Again, I'm gonna have to look this up. Uh, look, I'll have to look it up to be for sure. But if I remember right, it was the Supreme Court saying that no, you can't do that because you're using your personal and the presidential to talk to the public relating to uh, as a public official and everything kind of deal. Now, um, now this is where it gets a little interesting um, because it actually goes in far more detail than I, than I did. Um, Okay. Uh, if the page was created specifically to discuss certain issues, allowed to remove comments. But, but if com comments on a government site is praised, uh, private, sorry, government agency allowed comments and criticism cannot be deleted or blocked. See this part right here is what people need to to understand. This is a personal page, but it's used for um, stuff like that. Um, this even goes into far more detail where it says First Amendment pre uh, prevents public officials from blocking members of the public from their personal, private social media. Now, it says no. Watch real closely. If the public official is using social media as a private person, uh, the First Amendment protects the limit to their audience and measurements just like it was any other private person. Re-election campaign amounts may be either personal or by government business, depending on the official use uses of them. So, is he saying it's a person? Is he using it as a personal, even though he's actually, even though he's actually using that to um, conduct his campaign and something like that? So I, I guess that's what it is. But if that's true, then why couldn't he just have made it a a campaign? Because if you happen to go, if you happen to go to, um, let's see, where is it? I think it's, uh, if you go to the president, I'm pretty sure that, um, 
that instead of blocking people, he did this lovely, wonderful, uh, where is it, where is it? He did this lovely, wonderful feature called Mute. That would have been more appropriate, in my opinion. But no, he decided to go ahead and block because he didn't want to see, he didn't want me, he didn't want not only me not seeing his, his, his post anymore, but he didn't want anybody else, uh, um, communicating with me while he's re-electing. Re because I'm pretty sure it's because of his re-election that's going on this year. And, um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just going a little overboard. But when it gets to the point where, um, yeah, it, it's just, it's just really, really rude. Because it says public officials can block certain comments that are not protected by the First Amendment, including comments that make true. So, but what is he blocking? Why is he deciding to do that? Because um, look, it says when a social media site used for government business, and that's pretty much what this is. He's using this for government business. Uh, uh, but the fact that the public fish, but the public missions their job and on their website, not enough for us to make society an official government. Other likewise is there some personal matters are discussed or not enough to make the, make it a private page. See how that works? So this whole deal with, uh, blocking people on, well, using Twitter for your lovely, wonderful campaign. And he actually had quite a bit of stuff about, you know, what he's supposed to be doing and everything. And as you all see, all the stuff that he listed, everything that's listed here, has only been since this year. Now, he actually had quite a bit posted on his lovely Twitter, but as you all see, I can't, can't show you what his claims that he's done or I should say some of the stuff that he's supposed to have co-founded and all this other stuff. Um, but anyway, you see where this part right here says? Courts have looked into the variety of factors to determine if the social media account is being used for government, government, governmental business and therefore must be open to the public. So... If the courts say it has to do it for the open to the public, then that's against the law, what he's doing right there. But anyway, let's further keep going on. For, for the example, a site may more likely be a site for a government business. If the public official is allowing individuals to ask government services through social media accounts, links through accounts, blah, 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 phone, displays government, simple, shares information, about governmental services or meetings and are asked for input about how government business should be conducted. He was actually doing that on this, on this Twitter page. Again, so it's... Is it illegal? Is it legal? I have no freaking clue. And uh, I'll just leave it up to you on that. But would you want to re-like somebody that just outright blocks you as a political public figure and um, don't really want to take any criticism whatsoever. I mean, President Trump's actually learned that he can't do that and he's actually looking for uh, trying to get the courts to reverse their decision to make it where his personal account can be considered personal and not public because he stopped using it for, actually I believe he stopped using it for um, political stuff and he went to the presidential stuff just so he could just divert attention to the right account because he's finally decided to learn. I think that's one of the things he actually did learn while he was president. But hey, this is just my opinion. This is just my way of thinking, my way of looking at things. And uh, this has actually got me convinced into looking into um, the political part of life. Uh, because there's so many problems 
not only here in Wetumpka locally, but um, here at the state level, uh, I should say at the state level here in Oklahoma, because um, he he's still just a new guy, and he's doing really questionable stuff right now. So um, again, I ask you: Is that the person that wants to that you want representing you? Um, in any form or any any fashion or any like or any shape or anything like that. If it is, then yeah, go ahead and, and uh, keep voting him in office. As a matter of fact, go ahead and uh, tell him I told you. Tell him that I told you to do that because um, he might just not want to deal with you after you say that. So either way, it really doesn't make no difference. And. Uh, with that being said, until next time, don't have too much fun.